this vax has become a big subject and my god so 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 i'm gonna i'm gonna be talking to them and you're gonna hear what they have to say <laughs> I'm here by the um, Pompiers, like I promise you I'm going to be getting you the information. I'm here now presently to hear what they have to say. We know that St. Martin has been going through a lot of crises, a lot of um, strikes. And believe me, these things are for good purposes, but it's good to be properly informed. I'm going to be talking to those who know exactly what's happening here today. I'm just a blogger. Don't forget to follow me. Leave a thumbs up. That's very important for me. Leave a comment. And also you can subscribe. The way you can subscribe, that red button, you just press it. And the bell, and you know whenever, definitely you will know whatever I post. So with all that said, let me go and meet some of them and hear what they have to say. Thank you. Today is the 10th of September. The 10th of September. So if you happen to watch this back. The Pompier of St. Martin Friendside is on a strike. And they are saying, Touche pas le Pompier, which means don't touch the Pompiers. Because they are fighting for good cause. And I'll be talking to a few of them in a while. We'll tell you exactly what the strike is about. As the strike for a couple weeks, or they say it can go months until they get answers. There are some meetings for them to attend. Perhaps if they get answers, it will, it will change. Can you tell us what it's saying in English for the people? Don't touch a fireman. Don't touch them. They're necessary. Okay. They strike eliminate that you don't know. We don't know when. We don't know when she's going to We know when she start yesterday for sure. But we don't know when she's going to stop. That's it, that's it. No, we, we need answers. We look for answers. We need the government to start putting set on file for going out of the population. UNSA is a syndicate, it's autonomous national syndicate we get today. I know how we function in. If we are going to be able to back up, they can cross. Okay. Tu peux dire nous ça écrit là? C'est comme tout monde qui a gagné combat. Okay. Okay. And they say this will last until they get an answer against this vax that is forced on the population. Okay, we have one of the ambulance coming again. So Definitely, they gotta make way. They gotta make way for the ambulance to pass. Definitely. Okay. So they very organized. So every time the ambulance come around, they make way. Oh, you're done. Okay. So they finished for today. They are. Um. Yeah. Come back for the same system. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it was saying that it it, it, it also pertaining to um, the vaccination that they don't want to be forced on them. Yeah, exactly. So right now we got some pompier right here from the, the guys and we're on the pompier or the pompier. Right? But they stopped getting salary because um, um, they got there to, uh, to, be, uh, to, to do the, what they asked them to do, to, to vaccinate themselves. 
So right now, that's sort of pumping force now. But you got to know what happens in Manhattan, what do happening in, in, um, in France. It's all the pump you are contesting right now today. Yeah, okay. So, okay, so we want the people to know, we want the people to know who's watching that. Okay, usually against, that's against humanity. <laughs> it's, a crime, it's a crime against humanity because how can you tell me you're firing or you want to get rid of people because they ain't vaccinated? Exactly. I never heard that yet in my life. That's, that's not like something is wrong there. You know, we got some, um, some um, laws where the French, the states, want to try to put in place. So if you're not contesting certain things, they're going to just pass it to you. That's why we got to stand up against certain things. So now I'm here by the pompiers, which is the emergency people them whenever you got an accident. Whatever happened to anyone, they have to be there on spot. And these are very, very important people that you, you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose their attention. So, and they are striking. Good afternoon, wherever you are watching this, whenever, because I know people who watch my blogs, different hours, I want to welcome you. I'm actually here, and um, as I said, I will be at the Pompiers them to see what is going on. You know that they are, very, they are striking for a good cause. St. Martin has been going through a lot with a lot of, and as I said in opening a while ago, that these guys play a very good role in the country. We have to give them their honor. They are, they are emergency, and emergency whenever anything happens. So with these out of function, boy, it is heavy. And I'm not saying they are out of function. This is not what I'm saying. I'm saying that we need them. So I hope that whatever they're here to say, the government, those who's in charge will hear them. Good morning, sir. How are you all doing? First of all, state your name and then I'll have the question. Morning, morning. Me is, me is Mr. Petrus. Corporal Chief, Mr. Fleming. And mine is Celeo Clancy. Say it again. Celeo Clancy. Okay, so um, I would love you all to tell us what is the nature of the strike today. I don't know who want to go first. Alors, euh, rebonjour. Ben, on est là aujourd'hui depuis hier, hein, depuis hier le 9. Donc, il faut savoir que c'est une grève nationale. D'accord Donc, c'est ce qu'il faut comprendre, c'est que ce ne sont pas que les pompiers de Saint-Martin. Ce sont les pompiers aussi de Martinique, de Guadeloupe. C'est une grève qui est nationale. Donc, euh, on est là et on, on milite, on fait grève parce qu'on est contre l'obligation euh, vaccinale. D'accord Parce qu'on n'est on, on pas là pour euh, faire des... On n'est pas là pour parler est-ce que le vaccin, bah, entre guillemets, il est, euh, il est bon ou pas bon. Non, on est juste là pour dire que nous, on est contre le fait d'obliger des gens à faire des choses qu'ils n'ont pas envie de faire. Il faut savoir que chez les pompiers, il y a des gens qui sont vaccinés. Il y en a d'autres qui ne sont pas vaccinés. D'accord Donc, on respecte le choix de tout un chacun. Mais euh, il faut savoir qu'à partir d'une semaine environ, ils vont, nous, ils vont nous obliger à nous vacciner. Sinon, on ne sera pas rémunéré. C'est-à-dire qu'on ne on, on touchera pas nos salaires. Donc les choses commencent, on, on, on se dit que la liberté disparaît. Ouais, ouais, donc on ne peut pas laisser faire, donc on est obligé de se mobiliser. Mais c'est ça que je parle d'accord avec aussi. Euh, pour, pourquoi on peut dire les gens parce qu'on ne va pas vacciner, on va perdre leur travail. Et c'est ça qui est dangéré. C'est très important. Mais oui, c'est très, très 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 important et nous on est entièrement d'accord là-dessus. Surtout qu'on sait très bien que même quelqu'un qui est vacciné peut également avoir euh, le virus et également le transmettre. Donc je pense que vu la situation actuelle, pourquoi déjà euh, euh, forcer les gens à choisir entre vacciner ou non Je pense qu'on on est assez grand pour savoir ce qu'on a à faire. On devrait nous laisser et avoir notre liberté et choisir si on veut être vacciné ou pas. Wow, wow, très important pour les gens. Écoutez, c'est hein, la grève, c'est pour une bonne raison, hein. très très bonne raison, parce qu'on ne peut pas forcer les gens. C'est ça, je ne comprends pas. Et dans les lois françaises, on dit que liberté. <laughs> c'est ça, mais je ne comprends pas. Um, now we're going to um, hear from the other firemen, see what I have to say on that, on that level. What is the nature of the strike for the people who's watching, who's a bit confused? Well, I am, I'm the couple chief today on this in the shift that working i'm here to give a hand with the colleagues and them because i don't have much to say but everybody should have a freedom of rights of taking the vaccine yes or no okay we, um, we are not here to force nobody and nobody shouldn't force it on on them neither okay well to come back to bounce back on what Patrice was saying, um, bounce back in English. Well, today we mobilize because, like you say, it's national. So which means from we, we supporting our, our, our colleagues from Guadeloupe, Martinique, even France, they, they, they start to, to mobilize against the obligation, not against the, the vaccine, but against the obligation. I don't feel it's right that 
they should oblige you to do something. So we against that. Is a is a liberty for everybody, and then it's something they putting inside of you. So your conscience gotta be free if you decide to do something like that. So we just against the obligation because, like we say, we got colleagues that did vaccinate, and to God we're against. So we here together in unity, with or without those who accept or not, but we together as one to be against the obligation. Remember the word obligation. We don't want nobody to oblige us to do nothing. That's, that's the whole point of our, our, our mobility today. You know, and um, and um, you know what I have to ask you guys. Like, what is so confusing that I, you know, this is this is confusing. Even people that ask me that, I mean, sometimes I don't have all the answers. How can this thing be forced when we've been told, you know, I just mentioned liber liberty or, or or freedom. You know, I mean, as you said, nobody's saying that they they against the vaccine or whatever, but we are against the the forcing of the vaccine. And this is where um, I, I, I can understand how the leaders up to the day they came and my, 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 my buddies here, that they can't catch the message somehow. Um, had these people been paid out? Is it is it a move that they are on or something? You know, I also want to ask you, um, you know, um, tell the people also, do you all um, see any, any um, you know, like doing this? I mean, you just said, do you see any hope in this that the, the leaders will hear your voice? Any one of you can comment? Alors, euh, pour répondre à ça, il faut savoir que ben, on est censé avoir bientôt une réunion avec euh, avec le préfet. D'accord, on n'a pas encore le, la date exactement et, et l'heure, mais ça ne se, ça ne ça ne serait tardé. D'accord, donc on va on va échanger avec lui, on va on, on va s'expliquer, on va chercher à comprendre les raisons, même si nous savons déjà que bon c'est pas ça vient pas de lui, hein, ça vient de de, de, de la France métropolitaine. D'accord, mais on va voir s'ils ils peuvent pas adapter les choses à Saint-Martin, ouais. parce que euh, souvent ils, ils veulent ils veulent suivre ce qu'ils mettent en place en France, mais ce n'est pas forcément quelque chose qu'on peut adapter ici. Je vous donne un exemple tout simplement. Hein. Dernièrement, il y a une semaine et demie, j'étais en France, et si on n'avait pas euh, un schéma vaccinal euh, euh, complet, on pouvait pas rentrer dans les supermarchés. Rentrer dans les supermarchés voudrait dire qu'on peut pas acheter à manger. Sauf que en France, il y a des applications sur le téléphone où on peut se faire livrer des courses et livrer des repas. Mais s'ils font ça et on arrive à ce stade-là à Saint-Martin, il n'y a aucune application à Saint-Martin pour faire livrer des repas et pour faire livrer les courses. Ça veut dire que les courses, c'est ce que je appelle les courses, c'est les pâtes, la viande, tout ça, te faire livrer ça chez toi, il n'y a pas d'application. Donc c'est pour leur faire comprendre qu'ils ben, ne peuvent pas appliquer ce qu'ils appliquent en France forcément chez nous. Tout en sachant que nous, à la caserne, on est déjà à 50% de notre personnel qu'on devrait être. Ça veut dire qu'on n'est pas à 100% pour x, pour y raison. Mais si maintenant, ils nous obligent à prendre le vaccin, il y a des volontaires qui n'ont pas l'obligation de le prendre parce qu'ils sont volontaires, ils viennent donner un coup de main, ils ne seront plus là. Donc ça voudrait dire qu'on ne sera même plus à 50%, on sera à 25% du personnel. Donc ça va impacter la population parce que si nous, on ne peut pas faire notre travail correctement, ben, forcément, ça a un impact sur la population. Well, to bring it back in English, to bring it back in English, what he just said is like, like he bringing back. They they trying to they trying to bring something that they bring in France, down here, but down here we is a special place. We we different. We is one caserne, for example, taking a lot of pompiers because for for whatever reason yeah i understand we ain't bringing that up there no because that's not the, the the point they want to bring what they bring in in france down here south Korea and st martin we got a different life and the the opportunities they have up here they don't we don't have it down here so i think that the prefect while living here maybe after talking to him maybe he could realize that they have to trade and do something special st martin come that be true because all the time is always a special Saint Martin. So today we have to talk and see how we could get done things done special Saint Martin. That's what we asking for. We asking for nothing else. You know, and I can understand him. You know why why a person have to lose their job if they're not vaccinated? Because I heard someone was telling me even in the hospital that their their life is at risk right now with their job, which means that if they don't be vaccinated, they might lose that job. I mean, I find this is this is illegal. This is high treason, and how can government, who say they make laws, allow this? Well, we ain't losing our, we ain't losing job, 
we, we, let me say it like that. We're, we're not losing we for now, we ain't reached that. We ain't reached that for now about losing job. But you're losing money. So I think when you lose money, you don't work for free. Yeah. So automatically, they're using, they're using the day technique to tell us straight up, it's either you work for free mm -hmm. or you don't work at all. That's right. So That's they, are, right. they ain't telling you you're losing your job. They're telling you you either work for free or you don't work at all. That's what it is. Okay, so I want to thank you all for being on my blog today. And um, anything you all love to say from your heart? Maybe you want to get a message out there, Clem. Maybe something I forget to ask. And um, you just want to say it in closing? No, du tout. Déjà, on va remercier les gens qui vont regarder. On va remercier les gens qui vont regarder le blog. Et pour bien faire comprendre à la population saint martinoise que même des fois, quand on ralentit la route pendant 8 minutes, que le but, c'est pas de fatiguer les gens, c'est juste qu'on veut se faire entendre un petit peu. Et pacifiquement, on ne bloque pas la route, on la ralentit, on ralentit la circulation. Ça va aller jusqu'à jusqu quand ça va aller, le, le blocage alors, alors, il faut savoir que la grève est illimitée. Euh, maintenant, il ben, y a des pourparlers, si, faut, forcément il y a des améliorations, où ça va s'arrêter, ou voilà. Mais nous, on est régi quand même par un syndicat, Info, qui, nous, qui, va, qui vont nous donner un certain nombre d'informations, et on saura par la suite ce qu'on fait. Yeah, and Kim, what is your um, what is your input in closing, and how long would the would the strike last? In closing, the the, the strike, like my colleagues say, is unlimited until we get the juste milieu. So it's unlimited for now. And in closing, I would like to say it it, it we all concerned by this because it starts by us, and eventually they're gonna end up reaching out there. So if we stop it now, so which means all who feel that. They're not implicating this. Come out and give a hand, give us support, be there, because we gotta stand together. Because anytime we leave it past now, it's going to happen. And then we're going to stand up, and we cannot stand up when it's too late. We got to stand up now. All right, thank you guys, man, and all the best. Because like I said, these guys play a very important role in St. Martin, and of course they are, because anytime there's an accident, Anytime there's an incident, you need these guys. No matter. You need them. So I hope the government will hear you all. That's why I'm here today, to support them. You know, as a blogger, I can give my opinion. I will support this any day. Because I don't see where a, a, a nation called itself... Um, how you say it in French just now? Liber liberté? Egalité, fraternité. Okay. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget to share the video. And leave a comment below. And press that bell. And you'll always know what's happening. Thank you. Until next time.